So here we are today. It's the Leash Mine Hurling Championship final between the combination side of Clock Balakala, Mount Rath Thrumma. And their opponents today will be the Harps. A repeat of last year's under 16 decider, which the combination won. It's an early ball in here for the Harps. And it's been scooped out here to Mikey Monaghan. Lays off a pass here to Conor Delaney. Settles himself and uh, puts that over the bar for the opening score for the Harps. CBMT now under a little bit of pressure here. Clearance from the defence there. Goes straight out to Monaghan. Settles on it 45 metres out and puts it back up and over the bar. Ball knocked long now. Mark Hennessy getting this ball out the field. Just over the 45 metre mark. Looks at the post at Abbey League's end and just about gets it over the bar. That's a fine score to keep the combination ticking over into that wind. But here's Mikey Monaghan with a dead ball and it's a meet and drink to him. Three points to one here and just over six minutes gone. Here's Monaghan again. Further out this time. But the same result from the young man. And here he is again. Another one from Mikey Monaghan. Fine free taking. That's his fourth point so far. And the Harps lead here by five points to one with 16 minutes gone. But down at the other end, here's Evan Hawks going off on a strong run now inside the defence. Pass inside to Hennessy. Broken away. Could fall for Hawks here again. An opportunity grown stroke. We're after all. Oh, it's flicked up and over the bar by Lorca Fitzpatrick. That could have been in the top corner. It remains 5-2 here. 24 minutes gone with... Uh, Another opportunity here now. Monaghan again, and it's the same result. Responding to Killian Dunn free. Another save by Lorcan Fitzpatrick, who's resulted in the 65. It goes wide, and there is the half time whistle. Harps lead 6 3, have hit a lot of wides and faced the wind in the second half. Will it be enough? On the attack here now, slaloming run by Jim Kirby. Pass inside, Monaghan eventually gets control of it there, gets his shot away, does he? Yes, eventually, and it's up and over the bar. Big score into the wind, 7-3. Killian Dunn standing over this now. Close to 42 metres out, and gets it in by that post over the bar. Cretty Yard man, Kieran Burke, comes from Cretty Yard to the Harps to play hurling. Stands over this 65, will be a tough ask into the wind. But that goes over the bar, that's a huge score. Double scores now, 8-4. It falls straight into the hand of Kevin Mulhall and he knocks it over the bar. Killian Dunn, another free. This time it's on the opposite side of the pitch. But it's the same result from Killian Dunn. And the combination coming back into this game now. Bit of a head of steam up. And here's Dunn again now. And a tighter angle, but it looks like the umpire's going for the flag. It's over the bar. And the sides are level for the first time. Eight points apiece, and there's just over 11 minutes remaining here. Dar Hogan now takes control. Cross field he goes in the direction of... Adam Kerwin, if he's coming racing out for this ball, he is. Pops out in front of his man. Neat footwork there. Turns back inside. And the combination crew are in front for the first time. Norcan Fitzpatrick not happy in there. Nine points to eight. Done now with a chance to put one hand on the cup. Just over 45 metres out. And over it goes for his sixth point of the game. Strong challenge there by Hennessy on Tiernock Dohany. The ball goes out. But the time is up. Yes, the referee has blown the full-time whistle. The combination crew have won. Clock Balakala's first win since 2006 at minor level, throwing in Mount Rath and Trumra this time. Full-time scoreline of 10 points to 8. Success for the fourth time here as Evan Hawks and Garod Williams lift the cup for Clock Balakala, Mount Rath, Trumra.